indicated within some of these heavier storm cells, but do want you to be prepared for some of this rain moving in and the fact that we are going to have some waterlogged roadways. This is a live look at our in-dot camera up the I-74 corridor in the Covington area that's over in Fountain County, and this is what is headed in our direction. It's set to become more widespread as the day plays on as this cold front that's now situated in central Illinois will eventually move through Indiana today and then stall out south of us during the overnight tonight. So your rainfall chances, this is around the Indy Metro, continue to increase as we get into the afternoon. And rain even set to become more widespread. So if you're down at Colts tailgate, perhaps headed down there within the next couple of hours, a stray shower possible before this becomes more widespread after about 11 a.m. Temperatures continue to hold steady in the mid 70s and eventually for that one o'clock kickoff 76. Showers will be around, so we do know the roof, the window, of course, going to be closed uh, due to these rain chances coming in. So here's the latest timeline on our high resolution weather model. This will take us out through well, just before kickoff here at 1230. Notice western Indiana first will see the more widespread rain and then that continues to push east. So by the time we go through the afternoon, this will fast forward through about four or five o'clock. Noticing some of that heavier rain now concentrated in southeast and eastern Indiana, but we're not done just yet. The actual boundary is going to come through tonight. So by about nine o'clock, another round of potentially some heavier downpours will be possible. Keep in mind with this, we might have some lightning and thunder, but nothing is expected to be severe today. So that's a good, at least a good thing. And then as we get a little deeper into the evening and overnight, this is just after midnight, that boundary will then stall south of us. The chance of rain tomorrow will be limited along and south of I-70 more so. The farther north you go, the farther away from that boundary, the better chance you have to miss out on the rain tomorrow. Nonetheless, increased clouds, temperatures still going to be hindered to the 70s for daytime highs on Monday. So here we go, 7 a.m. Monday afternoon. We'll take you through here. This is about 5 o'clock. Notice that better chance of rain between about Greencastle, Bloomington, and Bedford. A stray shower continues through 10 o'clock Monday night, but that better chance of more widespread heavy rain holds off until the actual area of low pressure lifts back northward on Tuesday morning. This is 7 a.m. Looks like it could be a wet morning drive. Then by the time we get you into Tuesday afternoon, a bulk of the heavy rain is going to be gone, but a few lingering showers will be possible through Tuesday night. At this point, it does look like some spots could pick up in excess of perhaps one to two inches of rainfall. It really depends on where you are in the state. If you get underneath one of those heavier rain bands, that will elevate how much rain you see. But it does look like a couple of uh, pretty widespread rain events, both today and then again Tuesday.